are major league baseball teams are they happy about this? Are they indifferent about this? Um, are are they not thrilled that minor leaguers are unionizing? I think there that's a, a there's a multifaceted answer because you break down major league baseball teams into staff, mm-hmm. which there are so many staff members that I've talked to that see this as such a huge win and a positive. But I'm I'm pretty sure that there's a few owners that are not very happy about you know what the possibilities of what this could mean. It could and cost. The, it could cost them more. I mean, there's it. It no, should it cost does. them more. It should. Right. right. Absolutely. The the question is how much. And you know, it, I I can be very measured in looking at both perspectives. However, you know, in order for you to win, it does not mean that somebody else has to lose. Right. I right. don't believe not when it comes to human beings. And so that's why I said it's really important and why I see it as a real big positive at how swift MLB was in accepting this versus, you know, crying out and lobbying against. And so it it leaves some promise into everyone really sitting down at the table and saying, okay, what are our true priorities? You know, we all want to make more money. I don't care how much money you make. You want to make more, right? Sure, sure. And so let's, let's, you know, push that off to the side. I'm not saying uh, abandon it. I'm saying let's be realistic in our expectations from both sides. Baseball cut down on the amount of minor league teams, right? After the pandemic or coming out of that. Oh, Brody, you don't get me started. Well, okay. I'm just curious, like where, where does it where does it stand right now in terms of are there enough teams and players and opportunities? Do they need to think about expanding it a little bit more? I mean, I mean, look, I, I know what cutting it down means for everybody in the business and, and yourself included. Where, where are they at in terms of the minor league volume right now? I think they are in a good place. How they went about it was garbage okay. in my opinion. It was something that um, had been discussed for several years and then the pandemic was used as the catalyst An excuse. for ultimately the excuse for ultimately implementing it. And so then what you had, unfortunately, is the effects that we're still dealing with, where you had over 800 players released into the wild. Right. <laughs> right? Then you had college players who, everybody's coming out at the same time. You had junior college players, high school players, college players, D1 to D4, all up and down the food chain, all trying to get into this little vacuum. The effects of that we are still living with, where you have some incredibly qualified, incredibly skilled players that are now at an age that they phased out and they will never tap their way back in. And so just the way, you know, how during that time we talked about America coming together and this being America's favorite pastime, it was painful to me to see what was happening to families. Every kid represents one entire family. And so when you have all of those players that were released, again, over 800, on top of the college and high school players that were coming out, that was just a disaster on top of everything else that everyone was dealing with. But the long-term effect, yes. Does it work out better for everyone? Yes. And the reason why it works out better is because now you don't have, teams are no longer as apt to holding on to players because, ooh, he can be our bullpen catcher indefinitely. They know damn well that that kid has no shot at making it to the major leagues, but they're going to use him up to keep getting their pitchers better. Or may, you know, maybe he's a good clubhouse guy. Now, with limited roster spots and limited teams, you force teams to keep only those guys that they need that right. truly have an opportunity. It's an interesting time, obviously, as as – we progress and we, and we make things better for people. Um, how much, how much is a, is a minor leaguer living the dream right now or not? Right. I mean, you are, you are playing baseball for a living, but at the same point, uh, no certainty, no promise that you'll actually ultimately get there. Uh, and in this case, um, the way that they've got there may be under, you know, substandard conditions. How, how, how do you describe the minor league lifestyle right now? I describe the minor league lifestyle as being whatever it is that you make it. And that's why the experience will be different for every individual. Yeah. 
Um, I've got a kid who is, this season hit 27 bombs in the minor leagues. He's doing incredibly well. And um, he will be, he will not be returning to baseball. He has not told his team yet, but he will be done. He cannot handle, um, he doesn't like the lifestyle and he doesn't like how much he's missing at home with his family. Hmm. I have another kid who's in the minors, um, who is, um, he's, he has gotten his first call up. He's um, experiencing it now. And he's like, hey, Lonnie, what do you think as far as me signing this deal over here? And my thing is, it depends on what kind of player you plan to be. You have the ability to be elite or you have the ability to just be good. Right now, what you're showing me is that you just choose to be good. And he's like, oh, crap, you're right. <laughs> right? And so it goes to the level of dedication that you as the individual choose to give forth. So you can sit here and be upset with the conditions. You can choose to be swallowed up by everything that the experience is not. While doing that, you aren't becoming great. You are not manifesting greatness. Right. So that's within you because there's an opportunity like with Advocates for Minor Leaguers, we gave an opportunity to minor leaguers to be involved in the change, right? If you choose not to be, then don't sit around and bitch about it. Yeah. Just do your job and wait for it to happen. And, and here we are. And so that's a little bit of a tough question to answer. Sure. But it is up to every individual. We have the opportunity, all of us of free will, to manifest our lives in whatever direction and overcome whatever hardship that we encounter for the greater good or the greater goal. 